Yat ish a Indani Spears in Asia, Hashkan Hatsa Honisha, Ojibwe people, Bushes Chains, Hanisani Jishiche, the Choctaw and Chickasaw people, Bishanale. Hi everyone, I'm Indani Spears and I'm Yaka Fruit Strung Out in a Line Clan from the Diné or Navajo people. I'm born for the White Earth Ojibwe people from Minnesota. Uh, my paternal grandfather is from the Choctaw and Chickasaw people in Oklahoma, and I am a mother of four enrolled members of the Narragansett Indian tribe. And I'm so grateful to be here with you. I'm grateful to hear the land acknowledgement, grateful to hear the words of our young people. This is a multi-generational gathering, and that is the traditional way of indigenous people in our education and our approaches to education, and it's so heartening to see all of you here uh, on this Sunday afternoon. So and thank you for having this. Thank you our organizers and our students and our teachers. Um, I work for a small organization uh, based out of Connecticut that looks to center indigenous perspectives in places of knowledge. So schools, public humanities places, uh, colleges and universities. And one of the things that we hear over and over again when we go into classrooms and we work with classroom educators is that um, uh, what uh, this history makes people feel guilty, right? This history puts a lot of white guilt and guilt onto our children. But guilt, that's an okay uh, emotion to acknowledge, but it's not useful. And for us as indigenous, I'm not speaking for all indigenous people, but I can speak as someone who was raised in an indigenous way who honors my culture, who believes in the sanctity of indigenous knowledge and the contributions that we have to humanity and the contributions we have had to this country. And guilt is not a useful emotion. And that is not the end, that is not the goal, that is not the intention, and it's okay to feel that for a moment. It's all right, but that is not the end goal. The end goal is to move beyond that to something that is useful for all of us. And so today, as a mother, as an indigenous mother, as part of a vast network of indigenous communities that cover Turtle Island or North America, um, I'm just so grateful and heartened to see uh, all of these events happening simultaneously across our country in an effort to move beyond the guilt to something that is constructive and good for all of us so that our white allies and neighbors can be just that. They can go from being colonizers to being, as one of my good friends Gisa Tanamuk says, uh, to being neighbors with legitimacy. And we can work towards that. But that starts in the classroom and it starts in being the grown-ups in the room and be, not being afraid to talk about race and to talk about our history together with a common goal to construct a society where equity is at the center and we can work together as neighbors with legitimacy with one another. So thank you everyone. Thank you for being here today and for giving me a few minutes to speak. Thank you everyone.